Hey guys, Luta here. Um, so the A7C is just for video, right? Yes, welcome to a new video. Um, so as some of you may know, I bought the A7C about four months ago and I've been mainly using it for video. Um, Yesterday I decided that I'm going to challenge myself and use my a7c for photography and I'm going to be taking 100 pictures in my hometown uh, trying to find 10 interesting pictures to show you and I, That's what I did yesterday. So I went out uh, took 100 pictures I think it took me about an hour an hour and a half to get all hundred pictures towards the end it was getting very challenging because I just couldn't find things to photograph anymore. Uh, obviously in your hometown things are quite boring to you at least and there's things that you've seen a hundred times or a thousand times even more. Um, but yeah I, I challenged myself to take some pictures and I'm gonna be showing you those now. So I spent some time editing I think for all I had about 20 pictures that I thought were good enough to show. Spent about 30 minutes to 45 minutes editing all of them and I'm going to be showing you the 10 best pictures now. Oh and uh, yeah I'm going to be using only the 135G Master that I bought recently. Uh, it's a lens that I was on the fence about for a long time whether I was going to buy it or not but I decided to buy it in the end and to be honest I have not been disappointed. I really like this lens. It's obviously a bit of a niche focal length um, but yeah so far so good okay let's uh, let's get into the into the photos I've got my phone here I'm gonna just be looking at the pictures whilst we go through them together so the first picture is this one it is of a little plant and actually I took that within the first 20 30 seconds of me leaving the house uh, this is in our backyard and it's also, if you look at it, this is the reason why I opted to go for the 135G Master instead of an 85 lens. Because you can get much closer. The 135 has a minimal focus distance of about 70 centimeters, which allows you to get close up images like this one. When we zoom in, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, might have been might have gotten away with using a higher aperture or maybe focusing on the front end of the plant but to be honest I really don't mind this picture I think it looks quite nice moving on to the second image it's one of this brick which is also close to our house actually so I took these two pictures I think they were the first two pictures I took uh, just saw this little pool of water lying in front of it or the brick was actually in the pool of water and uh, yeah I don't mind this picture could have been a bit sharper when I zoom in mm, actually not too bad the third picture is of this dog that kept barking at me while I was walking by uh, asking to be in the picture I guess and I took this kind of like it if you look at the facial expression of the dog it's looking straight at me sharpness on the nose didn't use eye autofocus for this uh, didn't have it turned on but I still kind of like this nailed the focus I think the fourth image is of this giant cable spool I guess I live in a small town and there's a lot of farm equipment uh, a lot of farms a lot of tractors and stuff I saw as well saw this one at the side of the road and I thought okay well that's an interesting shot and yeah sharpness is very good when you uh, when you zoom in like the composition not too bad I think for a boring hometown shot next picture is of a few kids walking a dog um, saw them in the distance and not sure if I used the crop mode on the camera or not for this picture uh, but yeah I like the I like the shot like the composition and it shows the environment that I'm in so it's uh, definitely countryside next picture is of this crane toy crane that was toppled over on the side of the uh, walking path that we have here 
alongside the river. Um, I think this picture really shows what the 135 can do. I mean, honestly, this is not a very interesting scene, but with the 135 and the compression, the sharpness, you still get a somewhat interesting picture of a, something that's relatively boring, really. Uh, but yeah, if I zoom in, really sharp. I like the colors. Not too bad for a, for a boring hometown picture as well. Next picture is of a statue. Let me just topple that over, which is um, in an, our neighbor's backyard. It's of a little globe, I guess, with an arrow through it. Um, seen these around a few times with the little guy holding it up. Yeah, definitely shows again what the 135 can do with a not so uh, interesting scene. Next picture is of a horse and a pony. Um, saw them. Um, walk by thought okay well let's get a picture of that definitely like the contrast on this picture as well as the sharpness the pony itself is kind of out of focus but yeah maybe should have used a higher aperture number there 2.8 maybe but um yeah just just used the 1.8 yesterday to be honest throughout the whole um, one and a half hour then this picture is of a tree trunk with some moss on it and I think this kind of shows again what the 135 can do really with a somewhat boring scene you can still turn it into a nice little photograph lots of bokeh um, lots of background separation nice contrast sharpness when I zoom in details pretty good could have probably been a little bit sharper but not bad I think not bad at all then moving to the last picture is somewhat of an interesting one i think uh, because it's a face mask and before corona to be honest in the netherlands no one ever wore face masks so this is something really new you'd only see doctors and dentists you know, wearing face masks and now you can find them on the side of the road thrown away uh, people that do that i guess we shouldn't do that but um yeah thought it was an interesting shot to capture because it's uh, very relevant to what's going on in the world right now and it's kind of unique here in the Netherlands you would normally never see this so yeah that's the 10 pictures that I selected I made a few more which I'm gonna be showing to you also uh, just at the end of this video all of these pictures were taken taken within about an hour all using the 135 um, I use a cage with my 135 on the Sony a7C because I like the little bit of extra grip using the heavier lenses with all of the other lenses uh, I just use the a7C body itself but with the bigger 135 having that little bit of grip and support especially for your pinky definitely helps with that uh, with that lens uh, so yeah that's it that was uh, what I took that's my video for this week. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It's the first time I think I've said that ever in one of my videos. But yeah, let me know also which pictures you like, which you didn't like, and what you think about the 135 GM. All right, that's it. See you guys next week. Bye-bye.